Hello, this is Chris Terrell. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to make a chart equal to a range. If you've done charts at any time, it's very difficult to basically get them to line up exactly. It's a bit of a pain, or you can have them resize wrong. And so what I'm going to show you today is how to you know, I'm going to give you a couple lines of code that will make this make your life significantly easier. And with that in mind, we're going to go to the, go to the back end. So click Alt F11. It's going to take me to my VBA window. I've got a module here that I'm calling Snapchart. I do have another one in there. You can just put in any regular module and just put in put in this code. So first thing I've done is I've declared my variables. So I have uh, dimmed my chart as CHRT. I'm actually also setting my chart to the active chart, which means that when my code runs, I actually have to have a chart selected, which reminds me I need to put in on error. Zoom next. If my chart is not selected, it will just continue on. So this actually took me a while to figure out. Um, and then once I got it figured out, it was actually I was like, wow, this is really pretty simple. That's kind of like most things. Uh, I was figuring out how all the pieces and parts go together. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an input box. And this is an application.input box. And the difference between an application input box is you can determine what it returns. And so in this case, we are going to return a range. Um, and to do that, it has to be a type 8 which there are a bunch of types when it comes to an application inbox. The key there is, you know, look it up to figure out kind of what you want to return. You can return a date or an integer or whatever. So what this is going to do is it's going to, um, as we kind of go through this, um, it's going to give me an input box and I would select a range. Now I'm going to hit cancel, which is going to go through the whole thing. Um, but now the next piece here, I'm actually going to copy my code over and I'm going to just go through the object model here real quick just so that it makes real it makes a little bit more sense so it makes sense that a chart has a top position and a bottom and a left position and so what I'm gonna do here is I've got my chart and if you drill into your locals window if you don't have your locals window go to immediate um, and then click view and if we come down to parent you will see that within the parent you've got some different you've got your left you've got your top and so so does a range and so the range has the same same object and so what's nice about this is I have this selected I have this selected right here and so if I hit F8 and I want to move that box to here that charts gonna look terrible but it will actually snap it in um, and it's going to move it it's gonna move it again and it's gonna move it one more time and it's gonna make it very small And so now what I've got is I've got this code that I can actually come in here and make these really easy. So let's tie it to a button. So I'm going to add in a shape. I like this one. These ones better. I'm going to tie this to a macro. So assign a macro. It's going to be the snap chart one. Click on that. And now what's nice about this is I don't have any active. So it's going to give me an error. I do need to select something. And it's going to go through it. So I'm going to select this guy. Actually, I'm not going to do that. Let's move this over. I'm going to select it. I'm going to select my range because I want it to be in this in these cells and it's going to move right in there. So now what we can do is I've got this one selected. I'm going to do this same size. And then I'm going to do the same thing for here. Right, just like that and now all of my charts are lined up and beautiful and perfect and if I move anything in here it doesn't change anything if I change the size here uh, those move exactly along with it it is a very nice way to manage and fix your charts with really just a couple lines of code so hope this is helpful and I hope you enjoyed